Hi Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. Today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating my $625 Hostess Club project for the month of November. I offer several different Hostess Clubs and one of the clubs I offer is called a $625 Club. And each member that is in my $625 Club receives a project along with a paper kit to recreate this project. Now please note there are no stamped images or die cut punched pieces in the paper kits per Stampin' Up! policy. Now I know November is over so since the video was a little bit late I also created one for winter. This is a really fun and cute set and I'm using the Acorny Thank You stamp set from our holiday catalog and I'm also using the Eggcorn Punch. I just love this little set and I'm happy to say that this got carried over into our spring catalog. I am so excited about that. Now, I'm gonna be demonstrating the November one where you can just recreate it using the stuff that I used for the December sample here that I have. Most of my projects, I try to create them so that they can be interchanged out for different times of the year. So be sure to visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com to find out more about all the different clubs I offer. We have some more clubs starting in January and there are some openings as well. So be sure to head over there and I'll also have the supply list listed for the winter one if you want to recreate this yourself. Now this would be perfect for your little mini Christmas gifts for coworkers, if you need some stocking stuffers, little gifts for your neighbors, and etc. So we're gonna work on the November one. So I'm gonna get all the stuff out of the paper kit here. To start out with, you wanna cut one piece of Sahara sand cardstock at three and three quarters by four inches. Place that onto your Simply Scored scoring tool and score at two inches. Once you have that scored, fold over on your scored line and crease it with your bone folder. Then you are gonna to wanna to cut one piece of the Farmer's Market Designer Series paper in the old olive pattern at a half an inch by three and three quarters. Once you have that cut, then you're going to just glue this piece right on the center of your Sahara sand. So then it will look like that. Then you want to cut one piece of very vanilla cardstock. And you're going to cut that at two inches by two and a half. Then you're going to need your little acorn stamps from the Acorny Thank You stamp set. So I am using the striped acorn for the bottom. And you're going to need the little square pattern for the top of the egg corn. And then you're going to want your cherry cobbler ink pad and your hello honey ink pad. So we're going to start out with the hello honey. And one little tip for you, because of how this punch is, I'm going to show you a way to get this punch out without wasting so much cardstock. So you want your hello honey first. And then we're going to ink that. Just tap that gently into your Hello Honey. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. I just love photo the photopolymers because I can see where I'm lining everything up. So you're gonna stamp on the left side of that very vanilla cardstock. So you get your little egg corn there. Then you're gonna want to take your little topper and you're gonna want the cherry cobbler ink. So you're gonna tap this in there. And when you stamp this, you're going to stamp to the right of your egg corn, and you want it so your little stem is also facing to the left side as well. And then just stamp. Then you're going to need your egg corn vinegar punch. And then we're going to slide this in here on the left side and line this up with your egg corn. And then just punch. And then you'll see you still have your egg corn top. So now you're going to slide this in on the left side to punch out the top. And now you manage to not waste a bunch of paper trying to get it lined up in there perfectly to punch that out. So I always stamp my egg corn image on the left 
and the topper on the right. Just a little fun trick for you guys. And once you have that part done, you're gonna glue your little top to the top of your Hello Honey egg corn. So we're gonna cover up that vanilla blank spot. So there's your little egg corn. How cute is that? I just love that. Then you want to cut one piece of berry vanilla cardstock at one inch by two and a quarter. You're going to take the little thankful stamp, ink it, and tangelo twist and stamp onto your berry vanilla cardstock. Then you're going to zip that through the big shot with the bitty banner punch to die cut that out. Once you have that die cut out, then we're going to glue this across our egg corn. So now you have your completed little egg corn. Next you want to take one of our clothes pins and you're going to need a little sliver of your stamping dimensionals. So you could just cut one in half or use a little piece off the side edging there. And you want to place that dimensional right onto your clothes pin and then peel off the backing and attach your clothes pin right to it lining up the bottom here. So that's what it looks like so far. Then you want to create that double linen thread bow. And once you have that created, then you're going to just take a glue dot and attach this right to the top of that little egg corn. Whole lot of cuteness going on here, I think. Then you want to take one of the Regal's candy dots and you want the elegant eggplant one. They come on a sheet with the colors of the families here. So you want the elegant eggplant, and you're going to put one in here in the center of your little bowl. So now your egg corn is completed, and you're going to need that fun-sized Hershey bar. And all you do is place that inside, and then you're going to clip this up here at the top to hold it together. And now you've just created this fun and cute little favor treat holder. Now for the Christmas one, I did use the Seasonal Snapshot 2015 along with the Egg Corny Thank You stamp set. And then the colors I did that in were Hello Honey, Tip Top Taupe, and Basic Gray. And I used the Farmer's Market Designer Series paper on that. Be sure to visit my blog, rubberredneck.tripod.com to find out how to purchase the supplies to recreate these, how to sign up for one of my clubs if you're interested. And then thank you for watching.